Hi everyone, it's Mark here. This is day number eight of Fry Evolution. And as you can see, in the last two days, they've got quite a lot bigger and they are swimming around a hell of a lot more. Zoom in like I normally do for you guys so you can see them. Look at all the Demasoni. I mean, the regular water changes every day, 25% really helps them with their growth. And you know, I'm keeping the water uh, parameters spot on. I don't know if you can see them on top. You can see the patterns now coming through more on the Demasoni. I'm quite chuffed as well because um, I'm over 200 subscribers now. If you go on my channel uh, and look in the section where it says about me, you look down towards the bottom and it will tell you um, how quickly I've got my subscribers in the last month. Five days ago I was on 150 subscribers and now I'm on, I think it's 212. Uh, it's fantastic and I really appreciate everyone watching my videos, leaving ratings and comments. Um, it makes me want to make more, more videos for you guys. So yeah, I've got a tip for you guys um, regarding breeding African cichlids. They love cold water changes, so when you're doing your weekly 50% water change, um, I do it straight from the tap, put in cold water. After about 10 minutes, they are a bit docile still because they're getting um, used to the cold water. But you watch in about an hour's time when they start, and the water starts warming up a tiny bit, all the males will start, you know, all the breeding action and stuff. And I'm, I guarantee you that will always trigger breeding. Another method as well is to drop the water level of your tank um, around about, I say, 30% for two to three days uh, and then fill it straight back up after three days with cold water from the tap or whatever, you know, if you add salt and stuff like that, fair enough, that's, that's what you do. Um, and what it does, it tricks the cichlid into thinking there's been like a, a dry spout um, and then the cold water coming through, it's like cold rainwater, you know, all the minerals in the waters and everything like that. I don't know, it just triggers them to start breeding, so try that out. And also I've got a question uh, of the day type of thing going on. And the question is, what's your favourite fish and why? It can be anything from marines to goldfish. Just, you know, leave a comment below. And once again, thank you all for subscribing and watching.